Here's Tagovailoa, Jones coming on a blitz and sacks him back inside the 30 at the 28. Hey there, Falcons fans. I am DJ Shockley. I want to thank you guys for joining me for Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. And no, your TV, your screens are not fooling you. I am, yes, I am in a hotel, but it's because I am covering our Atlanta Braves, hoping they bring home a win out here in Houston. So we're all rooting on the Braves here. But I still wanted to give you guys some X's and O's and talk about the big win we had down in Miami. And let's get into some of the details of the game and what made this game really good and how the Falcons were able to get after the Dolphins. Let's start on the defensive side of the ball. And this is a blitz here. We're always talking about trying to get pressure on the quarterback. And this is how they created pressure from Dean Pease. Now, let's start up front. It looks like they're going to be a blitz. The guys I want you to pay attention to starts from left to right. Let's look at Ade Ogadeji on the left side. And then you look at Foyer in the middle. And then you have Marlon Davidson at that tackle spot. And then the guy who's actually going to get the sack is Deion Jones, who's going to be coming off that edge right there. But the Falcons do such a great job of disguising it. Pre-snap, you're not sure as a quarterback where this blitz is coming from. It looks like it's coming off the right side. Deion looked like he possibly would come, but you never know. But here's the most important thing that happens on this play. We got Marlon Davidson in blue. He's going to cross the face. He's the most important guy. He's going to cross the face right there. Look at him cross the face of this guard. When he crosses the face of this guard, that takes his eyes inside. And now you see the blitz coming off the corner from Dion. And now look at this tackle. This tackle is in a bind. Who does he take? The outside guy? Does he take Dion? He is in a bad spot because look at the rest of the offensive line. They're all sliding to the left side, going away from the blitz because they thought it was coming from the other side. So now you have the advantages. Now you have two on one versus tackle. And what does he do? He takes the wrong guy. And you can see as the play continues, you're going to see exactly where he ends up coming right through this gap here. And now you get a sack, forcing it to be third and 20. This is just a great job of a defensive skies from the backside, also from the front side. And these two guys do a great job of getting home to the quarterback. But it all starts up front with the disguise from that front seven, getting home to the quarterback, i.e. big time sack. All right, let's jump onto the offensive side of the ball where we've talked about the Falcons have been really good in red zone execution. And sometimes it's all about motion. It's all about design. It's all about the way they created these plays to be really good in the red zone. Now, this particular play here is going to run like we call a little ghost motion or a little jet motion. And it's a little zone split. You see Russell Gage there. Now, he's going to come all the way across in motion. You see he got man coverage. He has a guy that's following him at the top of the screen. He's going to come across. But when he comes across in his motion, he not only affects the guy that he has in motion, but he affects his outside linebacker who's sitting on the edge out here. Now, when he comes across, that guy is going to expand, which opens up the hole on the outside. Now, also what we have here is an unbalanced line. We bring Jake Matthews over to the right side, and now we have an extra offensive lineman to block and crash down. You got Lee Smith on the backside here, cutting off the backside. And it's going to be a really nice job by this offensive line. They're going to crash everything down left. They're going to go low hats going across each guy's face. And they're going to do a good job of washing everything down left. And then you're going to get this wind back action. You're going to think that they're going to run left, but then they're going to wind it back. And you're going to have a nice job of getting Keith Smith on number eight in the middle of the field, which is your safety. And it's going to be an easy walk-in touchdown. So as the play gets started, you're going to see Gage come across in motion. Now watch right here. Look, now the other guy has already expanded. This outside guy has expanded. And now the guy who's following him in motion is also trying to communicate. You got him. But now we have absolutely taken two guys out of the formation. So now we're really playing 11 on nine guys. Now look at the offensive line. Look at the low hats. Guys are pushing. Guys are straining, trying to get across the face of these guys. And you got a hat on a hat on each guy. And now look at the wind back motion as you start to get into the end zone here. And watch Keith Smith. He gets right here on about the one-yard line and crushes. I mean, just destroys this guy right here. Boom! Knocks him off, and it's an easy walking touchdown for Cordell Patterson. These are the details of an offense. These are the things that make it work, especially in the red zone when you're trying to score touchdowns. And the Falcons did a really good job of that versus the Miami Dolphins. All right, I want to thank you guys for joining me here on Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. I'm DJ Shockley. I'm going to take to cheer for those Braves. Hopefully we get a World Series win. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next week.